Hey, what's up guys? It's Theo from Final Concepts. So today I'm going to show you how to create a lyrics video completely using Adobe Photoshop. Anyway, let's just get started. Welcome to Fino Concepts. Click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future videos. All right, so over here we are in Adobe Photoshop and I'm going ahead to create a new document Obviously, I'll be using the film and video and I'll set it to 1080p because, I mean, why not? And I'll click on create. So this is what we have. Now, the important part is to change this to a video timeline. So I'll go into window and I'll make sure timeline is checked, which is somewhere around here. Now, this is what we have and I'll click on create video timeline. And let's bring this up a little bit and see what we have. So basically, this is our video. If I go ahead and play it, Play by playing it, I mean clicking on the playhead, you realize that it moves through the timeline like so. So this is how our video is going to be like. But this blank white screen is not our video, so you can add in a few things. First of all, I'm going to add in the media. The media is going to actually be, uh, you know what, let's, let's just grab a random picture of myself. <laughs> and I'll place it here. Now you can't really see it because if you look at the profile, sorry, if you look at the layers panel, you notice that my image is on top of the layer so if i scrabble through the timeline you notice that it is actually at the back we don't want this so i'll bring this outside the video group like this okay now if i do that you realize that it is on top so i can i can pretty much just bring this here and reduce the size just like we've been doing this adobe photoshop using the move tool i can make the size as small as this and probably place it somewhere around here and you can do the exact same thing for anything at all in case it is a video you can also go here add media and where are my videos okay so i have a video here again of myself and i'll import that also into photoshop like so now the reason for this is in case you have a video you know what, let's place this also on top in its own video group and have it something like this. Now let's make this video a lot shorter. So something like this is okay. Now I am doing this because I actually created a lyrics um, channel and for some reason, because I was using copyrighted um, songs, it was taken down by YouTube. But in case you want to do something like that, you can also do it. Um, let's not use the video because I am also recording this uh, tutorial. So I don't want my computer to freeze on me. Anyway, now that I have this, um, this is what I did. I'll go ahead and create a random rectangle, making sure that the fill is set to a specific color. You know what, let's use blue here and the stroke is set to none. I have no stroke in there. So I'll create something like this. And you notice this is also at the back here. So again, I'll click and drag this outside and place it somewhere around here. So we have it, you know what, let's delete this. We don't actually need this. So we have it in here like so. Um, I should have probably just removed this. No, it's, let's recreate it without the rounded borders because uh, it looks kind of weird. So let's place this somewhere around here. Maybe the center. I think, yeah, the center should be somewhere here. So I've already grabbed this song. Yeah, I sang this when I was a kid at some time. So I have some kind of connection with this. So this is what I'll be doing. I'll actually copy the lyrics. So he, hold, he holds my life comes first. I'll copy it. Come in here. Click on the type tool. Click anywhere, not on the shape anywhere. And paste it in here like so. Now if I center this and bring this to, the, to our shape, you can see that it is in here. You know what? Let's go into window, go into Caratex and made this uh, all caps because it looks nicer when it is all caps all right so let's reduce the size and place it somewhere around here okay so i'll grab my move tool and i'll position it to the center then i'm also going to select the shape and reduce it whilst holding down the shift key so reduce it to this side and this side and just click on okay now this is what we have uh i forgot to add in the audio so you know what let's add in the audio you should see it at the bottom here it says add track and i'll click on it and go to add track now let's select an audio file from here 
um you know what let's go with this i'm starting to like this track a lot and let's stretch it out because it's quite lengthy let's make it a lot shorter now let's make it bigger again all right so basically all we have to do is just add in the rest of our information now i'm going ahead to mute it because i don't want it to interrupt my recording and let's say i place the playhead somewhere around here and i'll grab in the rest of the song so that's going to be here i'll copy that i'll come back in here and what i'm going to do is actually cut these two so i'll use the scissor icon i have here to cut once the layer is selected and i'll cut this one also now once i'm done i'm just going to bring these two down like this so that they have uh, they appearing on the same timeline so one will fade into the other like so i hope it makes sense now i'm grabbing the type 2 and i'll just type in that um rest of information i copied so that is going to be here so double click and or highlight whichever works for you then i'll paste it in here using ctrl v now you can see that the text is a lot longer than um, the shape so we have to select the shape and make it longer to cover up the text so holding on the shift key i'll just stretch it out onto the right and do the same on the left i think if you are using an older version of photoshop you don't have to hold on the shift key but uh, i'm not so sure so let's just go with that you know what let's stretch this out to fill up the whole thing because the lyrics is basically going to be covering the entire place so let's say the song changes somewhere around here so i'll play i'll, I'll move the playhead over to that point let's copy this information minimize then i'm going ahead to cut it again and again i notice this time around when i cut it doesn't move on to the next layer that is because we are still working within the same group that is one cool thing about this we have to only do it once so if i highlight my text and paste in the new lyrics this is what we have and i'll go back again and i'll change the orientation or the size of the shape so yeah basically this is what you have to do over and over again just continue changing the lyrics cut it you copy the rest of the lyrics then you paste it in here and so on and so forth uh, this is yeah this is basically the idea now you have to make sure that it is matching uh, the song so in my case i've muted it but with yours you know you have to make sure that the song is playing so that you know when and which lyrics to place at which particular time so basically that's it if you go ahead and play this is what you have then it moves to a new lyrics then it will play over and over then it will move on to the new lyrics then it will move on to the new lyrics now the reason for creating this whole tutorial is um, this is something i created a while back uh for yeah like i said for youtube is i usually called it lyrics fear but for some reason uh youtube had to turn it down because all the tracks i was using was copyrighted that one is for sure so yeah if this is what you are going to be doing i'm sure you can put it on your website that is okay but putting it on youtube i'm sure they are going to flag it so basically that is it anyway thank you guys for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you like to watch more of our videos hit that subscribe button and as always don't forget to share with your family and friends this is still from final concept and i'll talk to you guys in the next one